Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on Embal software. And today's video is about enhanced oil recovery using one dimensional model in Embal. Okay, so we will have several cases. We will start with pure water injection and then we will try polymer injection. Okay. And here we are inside the Embal. We go to tool. We select 1D model, okay, options, okay, so you can follow me, reservoir fluid oil, injection fluid water, fluid model type, enter fluid properties, enhanced oil recovery type, none, but we can also perform surfactant polymer injection, hot water injection, and CO2 injection. We start with none, okay. You can also input the user information and also user comments. All right, we click done. We go to input parameters. You see, if we select enter fluid model, we will have this tab PVT tab activated and you can input the fluid properties, but we can also do this one enter fluid model or enter fluid model type, we can select enter fluid properties. And this is what we will do in this video. And you can see the PVT tab will be deactivated. Okay. So now we will go to input, reservoir parameters. Okay. Injection rate, 100 stock tank barrel per day. And the start of injection, 1st January 2012. Fluids parameter, okay. Oil density, 50 pound per cubic foot. Oil viscosity, 5 centipoise. Oil formation volume factor, 1.01. .01. Water density, 60 pound per foot or pound per cubic foot. Water viscosity, 1 centipoise. Water formation volume factor one. And the reservoir section at which we will perform the injection or the enhanced oil recovery. The length, 1000 feet. The width, 100 feet. The height, 50 feet. And the oil water contact at 50 feet. So we will have pure oil zone. Deep angle zero. We have a horizontal reservoir section. Permeability 100 millidarcies, porosity 20%, 0.2 in fraction, Connaught water saturation also 0.2 in fraction. And the cutoff for the water cut, we can accept until 99% and the number of cells 100. Okay, now we need to input the relative permeability data. Okay, so I have the relative permeability data prepared here. This one 0 0.2, the endpoint for the water, 0 0.8, exponent 1, KRO, oil relative permeability, residual saturation 0 0.3, the endpoint 0 0.9, and exponent 1. We can plot, remove all KRW versus water saturation and KRO versus oil saturation. But you can also change the exponent to usually the typical numbers are two for KRW and KRO, and you can plot. Okay, something like this. Okay, so you can use these numbers, but in my case, I will start with one. That's okay. You can do, you can exercise as per your data. Okay. So now click done, calculations, run simulation, calculate. Okay, very fast. This is the input parameters, the injection rate, deep angle, length, reservoir width, reservoir height, oil water contact, permeability, porosity, water saturation, and this is the mobility ratio, 
will be calculated by Embal for volume and oil in place. Okay, this is in million, all right, million cubic feet, million stock tank barrel. And this is the results. But first, this is the data, water and oil, the viscosity, density, formation volume factor, and saturation as per imputed. And this is the results. Okay, the actual and the breakthrough. So water will break through at pore volume injected of this one, right? 0 0.1 fraction. And this is the recovery factor that we can achieve. So we can achieve recovery factor of 62%, whereas at breakthrough time, we can achieve recovery factor at almost 13%. And this is the water injected, oil produced, and water produced results for actual, the final condition, and at breakthrough time. OK, finish. Go to calculations again, result. Okay, so this is the results. We start from January 1st, 2012, and we end up at this one. Okay, October 2022. Why we stop at this time? Because now we achieve water cut cutoff 99%. Okay, so you got that. Okay, here in this table, we have several columns, time, power volume injected, frontal speed in feet per day, frontal advance, the distance, all right, in feet, average oil rate, water cut, cumulative oil produced, cumulative water produced, cumulative water injected, recovery factor. You can see now we can achieve recovery factor of 62.25%. And this is the water saturation results in fraction. Okay, so you can plot. I will remove all first. Okay, calculated. Pore volume injected. Linear trend. Frontal speed. Okay, after breakthrough, there is no frontal speed. Okay, there is no frontal advance after the water reaching the well, the producer at breakthrough time. So this is the break to time, the time at which the frontal speed dropped to zero. And frontal advance, remove all first, frontal advance, okay. At break to time, the water reaches the end of this reservoir section at 1,000 feet. Average oil rate, water cut, Okay, reaching the final water cut of 99%. Remove all. Cumulative oil produced, cumulative water produced. Okay, cumulative water production versus cumulative water injection. And this, this plot will be important, water cut and water saturation plotted at the same graph. Okay, and then recovery factor. Okay, so far so good. So we have completed the 1D modeling for water injection or water flood. So now we can continue by conducting enhanced oil recovery. Okay, we go back to options. Now we change the EOR type to surfactant polymer 